Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss another important integration component called as virtual tables. Most of the times when we connect to an external data source uh, for integration purposes from Dataverse, then we can use virtual tables, which is a way to connect external data sources, but uh, we do not want to store the physical data in Dataverse. So virtual data can be used to connect directly uh, the live connection with a external data source without storing the physical data in Dataverse. So let us see how we can work with, you can create new tables and in the new tables you can choose as a, uh, you know, the type is virtual, but there is another easy way to work with this uh, uh, virtual tables using a, a system called as new table from external data source, right? So click on this new table from external data source and here you have to choose uh, where is your external data source present let's say my external data source is present in sharepoint so i'll go to the sharepoint first let me create a list and a site let me go to sharepoint and in the sharepoint let me create a site let me create a public site uh, for communication and give a name let's say shop chief uh, site okay and here i will make it as uh, public so click on finish now in this site whose name is soft chip site i want to create a list so click on new and create a list list represents a table in data in uh, sharepoint so i want to create a blank list and here i want to keep let's say uh, the action items okay this will be my action item will be my table or list in sharepoint and inside this list i want to create some columns title columns is the default column title of the action and then i want to take another column called as a description for example i can define a type or let's say a choice field and the choice field will store some items for example which priority and the choices will be let's say high high priority and uh, low priority then medium priority okay now click on save so i have created another column called as priority and i want to add another field called as status so status field will also be a choice field and i will give the name as status work status and here i will put the values like uh, complete as items to display then okay now click on save so i have three columns in this list one is title priority and work item i can create new item let's say title is uh, creating flow for the then priority let's say high priority work status pending and save it right so i have created one column here one rec one uh, record in this table right in this list i want to connect this uh, table or the list from dataverse as an as a virtual entity or virtual table so the data is available in sharepoint but how can i connect so go to here in the option called as uh, new table from external data and here you have to create a connection so you can choose a connection from this list already uh, sharepoint is available and sharepoint is available if you have manual connections you have to create manual configure option okay but as because my data is in sharepoint i can create a new connection by adding a connection option right here i can create a new connection using sharepoint use direct cloud service if your sharepoint is in on premise you can choose the second one and use the first one because i have online cloud version in software uh, in sharepoint so click on create it will ask you to confirm your uh, credentials now it will create a connection now i can close this and go to the last screen and refresh it so that it will create a connection now this sharepoint connection is created for me click on next this is the first step of creating connections then you have to provide the connection details what is the sharepoint site you can copy the sharepoint site this is the sharepoint site and store it here okay 
and you can choose the uh, SharePoint uh, side from this search option also. Okay, as we have created a communication site, you can search from here. This is a communication site that is already created before, but this one I have created right now. Click on next. Now here it will display all the lists that we have created in the SharePoint list, SharePoint uh, site. So this is the table or list I have created. So choose the action item, uh, which is the list I have created in the site, SharePoint site, and just check this uh, checkbox. Uh, select this checkbox because we need to configure table and column names that will be used in Dataverse, right? So click on next. Normally, we are creating the um, virtual table automatically as for this feature introduced by Microsoft. So here you can verify what is the display name that will be uh, given to the virtual table. Action item, plural name is action items. Schema name will be this one, the prefix and action item. If you create inside your solution, it will use your prefix, publisher prefix. Then the title will be the uh, primary field. Every table in Dataverse requires a primary field, right? And primary key is ID because ID field is already there in the uh, SharePoint also. So here you can see these are the external columns available in the SharePoint. And these are the columns to be created in the Dataverse. And these are the schema names that will be created in the Dataverse. So click on next if everything goes well. And here it will show you a review uh, scenario. This is the SharePoint table. And this is the Microsoft table that will be going to create. There are seven columns to be created. Okay. There are some system columns that require. So if you want to again edit, you can edit it. Right. So these are the seven columns. These are created for uh, system purposes. Okay. Now click on next. Now finish. As soon as you finish, it will create virtual table by taking help of the configurations we have done right now. So you do not need to worry about creating the tables, uh, virtual table and uh, columns inside the virtual table. But this new table from external data uh, feature uh, creates automatically the virtual table for you uh, when you give information about the target data source whether it is sharepoint or whether it is uh, sql server doesn't matter but through the connection it will create the virtual table for you so let us wait for some seconds it is creating the virtual table configuration inside dataverse then we can uh, test it how uh, the two systems dataverse and sharepoint will interact with each other through a app which will directly connect it to a virtual table. Now the table is created for me and this is the table whose name is action item. So this table is present in the data first now. This action item present in SharePoint and this virtual table which is created in the data first and these are the columns which are created. Okay, These are the columns title, uh, then action item is the primary key, then priority, work status, everything is there, right? So here you can see the title of the uh, action item and the work status and the priority, right? And I can also mention the ID because ID will be the primary key, right? So I can mention the ID here to display, ID is one, right? So let me create an app. So click on create an app uh, by using this virtual table. So give a name here, let's say manage action items okay now remember the data of the action item table will not be stored in the dataverse although we can interact with the data uh, but the data physically stored in the sharepoint so now i have created a model driven app by connecting to my action item uh, table now click on play now let us work with the action item so this is the action items table which contains the title i can edit the columns to add multiple fields like uh, priority work status and id and click on apply you see the uh, id is displaying and work status priority and title i can save this flow as a uh, manage uh, a personal view okay this is a personal view now 
Now, right now, the SharePoint data contains one record and uh, DataForce data record uh, table contains one record. So let me update, let me create a new one in DataForce. Now this form should be also edited, right? So let me edit the form, form for the virtual table. I'll go back and go to the form. And I want to edit the main form to add the uh, rest of the columns except the primary field. So these are the columns priority and work status. Save and publish. Once you've published and saved and published the virtual table form, uh, you can go to the app and refresh the app to see the columns. Now, till now, it is not published. We have to wait for a couple of seconds till the publishing process completes. Now you can go and press Ctrl Shift R to hard refresh. Now you can see, so give some title here. Let's say connect to stakeholder for configuration document, design document finalization. Right? And what is the priority? You see the uh, the same priority items are created in Dataverse also, the configuration. So let's say it is also medium priority, work status pending, and seven close. Right. So we have created another record for our virtual table inside Dataverse, and we are expecting this this record will also be synchronized synchronized with the external data source. So let us go to the uh, SharePoint and wait for a couple of seconds so that you can see the record here okay so let us wait for a couple of seconds without refreshing and if you want to refresh also you can refresh the screen uh, if you don't want to wait let me refresh the screen for now you see this record is synchronized from data verse so data is not present in data verse but we can seamlessly interact from data verse application from power apps to external server external uh, data source called as sharepoint right so let me edit something here let me open this and edit uh, and this work status is suppose completed someone has marked the first action item is completed and uh, uh, saved it and let us see in the data verse we we have to check that once we refresh this item this work status would be synchronized as completed. So let me refresh this. Now you see the record status is completed now. Because the integration is so real, so live, that whatever changes done in the external data source will be synchronized with your uh, Power Apps through the virtual table data adopter. Right? Let me update something here also. Let me update it is completed from Dataverse and save it. Right? Now it is saving the record uh, in the SharePoint 2 connection. So let me refresh this. Now it is completed, right? So this way uh, you can you can share Power Apps with multiple teams, although they do not have uh, access to or they do not have license to SharePoint. They can also interact with the same data source, and uh, multiple teams can work on the same data source through Power Apps. So I hope you understand how it works. If you delete a uh, record also in virtual table, the record should be deleted from the data source, external data source itself, right? So it is so live. It is so, uh, very, very real time synchronization uh, using virtual table uh, integration, right? Now, surprisingly, if you go to the uh, Power App solution, and open the virtual table whose name is action items let's say this is the action items which is a virtual table and if you want to verify if the records are there or not you can see the items and the records are available here but physically these are not stored in this dataverse these are on demand pulled uh, on demand pulling and displaying in this data right so that is the first point of virtual table uh, to integrate external data sources without storing the data in Dataverse. Thanks everyone. I hope you understand how virtual table works. And uh, it's very interesting to integrate with external data source without a single line of code. 
using the new feature called as virtual table and there is another option called as new table with uh, external data that will makes the life of developers easier to create the virtual table automatically right if you want to check the uh, columns also uh, to verify how the columns are created if you click on columns you see how this title is created uh, the title is created this way right so every uh, column in the uh, virtual table requires an external name and right? this external name must be same as the column name in the uh, column name of target data source right in work status also you'll find the uh, column name is the external name is very important right this, this would be the this must match with the target data source right if you create manually you may do a do a mistake so uh, take the help of the new feature uh, creating tables from the external data thanks everyone see you next time bye <laughs>